Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got two concentric circles such that we get a donut of this shaded region as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we have this chord AB that is tangent to this uh, smaller circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, shaded donut. And furthermore, the length of this chord AB is 2 units. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let the radius of this larger circle I am going to call uppercase R. And the radius of this smaller circle I'm going to call lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. And we know that the area of a circle is pi r square, where r is the radius. So therefore, the area of this larger circle is going to be pi r, where r is going to be uppercase. It is going to become pi r square. And moreover, the area of this smaller circle is going to be pi r square, where r is going to be lowercase. So therefore, the area of this shaded donut region, the one that you see over here, is simply equal to area of the larger circle minus the area of the smaller circle circle and we know the area of the larger circle is pi r square and then minus and the area of the smaller circle is pi r square isn't it i can write like this one pi r square minus pi r square and here i can get this pi as a common factor so this could be written as r square, where r is uppercase minus lower case r square. So thus the area of this shaded donut region turns out to be a pi times r square minus lower case r square. And I'm going to call this equation number one. And we know the pi value and if somehow if I can find the value of this uppercase r square minus lowercase r square then we will be done. And in this next step let me go ahead and connect this center C with the point of tangent C. I'm going to call D over here. So let me go ahead and connect that one. And here it is much nicer looking diagram. And now we can see that this CD is the radius of this smaller circle. Then this tangent AB and this radius CD are perpendicular to each other according to the tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. No wonder this angle is 90 degrees. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this larger circle. Let's pretend that this smaller circle doesn't exist at this point. And now we are going to extend this CD line to point somewhere here E. We're going to expand, extend it all the way over here such that this CE is the radius of the larger circle. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And we can see that this radius CE is perpendicular to this chord AB. Then according to a chord of a circle theorem, AD equals to DB. That means this line segment AD equal to this line segment DB. And here it is our chord of a circle theorem. 
a radius or a diameter perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts as you can see in this figure we have two equal parts so therefore this chord ap since it's divided into equal parts and the total length is two so this side is going to be one and this side db is going to be a one as well and here in this next step we have drawn a right triangle bdc by just connecting this center c and this point b and moreover this cd is lowercase r as you can see and this cb is our uppercase r and this line segment db is one unit and let's focus on this triangle bdc once again since this is a right triangle so we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case the longest leg is cb i'm going to call this side c this horizontal side a and this vertical side b and here's our pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is one so i'm going to put down one square a plus b in our case is r lowercase r so this become lowercase r square and c is uppercase r so this is r square so let's simplify 1 plus r square equal to uppercase r square let's move this lowercase r square on the other side so 1 equal to uppercase r square minus lowercase r square and i'm going to call this as an equation number two and now let's go ahead and compare equations one and two equation one is right up here and equation two is this one if we compare this one we can see that uh, the area of this shaded region is going to be this r square minus r square is going to be simply one so the area of this shaded donut region is going to be a pi times one which is same as pi and that is our answer so thus the area turns out to be a pi or approximately equal to 3.14 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye